watching Como News. Happening now, well wishes and tributes pouring in tonight after a Washington State Patrol trooper killed in the line of duty. Police say he was hit by another driver on I-5 in Marysville. We are in Marysville tonight with a live report just ahead. And drivers in a rocket street suddenly blocked by protesters today. Hundreds rally at the base of the Space Needle over the war in Gaza and calls for a ceasefire. And it was a wild ride that ended in flames. Details on the suspects behind a fiery crash. Como News at 10 starts now. And we want to begin with some breaking news. We are tracking out of Tacoma, where we know a 15-year-old boy has been shot in a drive-by shooting. Tacoma police say the teen was inside a home when the shooting happened. No word yet. If this is targeted or random, we know other people were inside that home when multiple shots were fired at the house. The home is here in the 4900 block of 32nd Street Northeast. That is just about a block away from a Tacoma Public Library branch. We know the teen was taken to the hospital and tonight is in a stable condition. This is an ongoing investigation. We will continue to bring you coverage as warranted in this newscast or online. Now to a devastating loss. Washington State Patrol mourning the loss of one of their own. We are learning a 27-year-old trooper was killed in the line of duty. State Patrol says trooper Chris Gadd's police cruiser was struck by a speeding car on I-5 in Marysville early this morning. It happened right around 3 a.m. in the southbound lanes near 136th Street North. It caused an hours-long backup and shutdown of all of the southbound lanes of I-5 in that area. We also know this, a 32-year-old man now in custody being held on investigation of vehicular homicide. Comas Karina Vargas talked to investigators and has been working this for us all day. She picks up our coverage now. Karina. An early morning.